Hey guys, it's Kieran from Server Pro here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install holographic displays on your server. This is a really simple plugin that basically allows messages to be created in, in game that are basically holographs or holographic displays, as the plugin is called. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you need to do is ensure that your server is running Spigot or Craftbucket as this allows you to use plugins. Once you've done that, you can go into the plugins tab on the control panel, click bucket plugins, and then search for holographic displays. Click search and then click install latest on holographic displays. And then once you've installed it, click restart. And then this will load the plugin on your server for you. So now that it's been installed, we can join our server and take a look at the plugin in game. As you can see, I've joined my server. So if we run the command slash plugins, this will display that holographic displays is green, which means it's working. If it's red, it means there's a problem. So contact our support if it's red. And then just to furtherly check if it's working correctly, type slash HD help. And that stands for holographic displays help. And this will list all the commands that you're able to use in game. So again, I don't really need to go over this as it's really simple and self-explanatory. Um, so here are all the commands available for the plugin. So it's really that simple and you, you now have holographic displays working on your server. So let's go ahead and take a look at the files on the back end part of the server. So if you go back to the control panel and then go to your file manager, click plugins, then click holographic displays. And here you can see all the files which are available to edit. So if we go on config.yml first, you can see that it's really simple. So there aren't many settings here. As I've said, it's really simple. Um, some things that you can change is space between lines. Um, so say if you've got um, a holographic display with two lines in it, you might want to make a bigger gap. So you could put 0 0.5 instead and that would leave a much bigger gap. Um, you can change other settings below. Say if you've got a bungee cord server, you can set up all the bungee cord settings here. You can change the time format. Um, so you could change it to minutes and hours instead. You can change the time zone to say if you were in, um, let's say, GMT and so on. You can disable the update notification by clicking or by changing it to false. Um, so this file is really simple. So next is the database.yml file. So as you can see in here, this basically displays or lists all the holographic displays which you have running on your server. So as you can see, I've created one in game at the location at these coordinates. And it says, hi, welcome to my server. And the server has a color code on it. Um, so that's really simple. Again, you can actually add them here yourself if you wanted to. So you'd copy this, paste it, and then change that to the name of the hologram. Um, so let's say I want it to be second. I can change the location to be in 252. And then instead of saying, hi, welcome to my server, I could put, um, hi, thank you for playing. And then I could click save. And then if I go back to my server and type slash reload, and if we turn around, you can see there's the um, hi, thank you for playing. Next to hi, welcome to my server. So that's basically all we're going to look at at the configuration files. There are a couple of other things such as symbols.yml. Here you can read more about this on the documentation for holographic displays if you just click this button. And there'll be a link to this down in the description below. And you can read more about symbols here. And then there's also the animations folder. Again, you can read more about this on the holographic displays um, page if you go to the animations tab. They are pretty simple to use, but I don't think many people use them, so therefore we won't be going through them on this tutorial. So that's basically all you need to know for holographic displays. Um, there is one more thing. If you want to use certain variables, as it states in the documentation, you will need to install another plugin called protocol lib um, so that things such as play name and display name work correctly. And you can do this by going back to your server in the control panel, go to the plugins tab and search for protocol lib and it should come up and then click install latest. And then once you've installed that, click restart and then that should be working too, just in case you wanted to use those variables. So other than that, that's basically all you need to know for this plugin. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day and goodbye.